Hello everyone, welcome to Geography Medicine. This is a small uh, video on breaking point theory. Uh, so what is breaking point theory? The theoretical position of the margin of an urban field can be calculated by using a technique known as breaking point theory. So here we can actually easily calculate the urban field. It is not about only urban field, any sort of economic activities or any sort of uh, special mapping which has uh, been applied or where uh, area of buffer or a fence area to be calculated found out then we can easily use this theory this is a simple variation uh, on the standard gravity model so we know about the gravity model and the gravity theory so this is the outcome of it the breaking point between two towns divides the people who will travel to one town from those who will travel to another town for similar services. So if enough breaking points can be established around the town, its theoretical urban field can be written eliminated in that way. So using this, we can actually use the uh, and find out the urban field also. So Rayleigh introduces model of retail gravitation we know based on the gravity model. So that Rayleigh's gravitation model is popularly known as breaking point theory or breaking point model. The most confusing part was in the previous video. My previous video was this formula part. So let's see what is this. The formula of breaking point as given by Rayleigh is dpb, dbp equal to dab by 1 plus in within bracket root over pa by pb, where dbp is breaking point distance from city A to city B. And dab here is the distance between A and B. pa is the population of city A, whereas pb is the population of city B. Now, retail gravitation model suggests that there is an underlying consistencies in shopping behavior. Okay, now this is a theoretical thing that yield to a mathematical analysis prediction based on notion or concept of gravity. Obviously, it is based on the Newtonian gravitational <coughs> principles. It explains the uh, you know how the large unbiased areas are attract. You know, cust uh, customer from similar rural, rural communities can be attracted. Or you know, uh, let us give and take an example for. Uh, suppose there are two cities like P and PB having a population of 20,000 and 5,000 at the distance of 12 km. Then how can the boundary of line be fixed between the level of interaction? So as per the formula, we are getting this DPB, DB, DAB by 1 plus root over PA by PB. So in this case, this DAB, this is the distance between the two points or towns that is 12 km divided by 1 plus in within root over, that is the population of the first town, 20,000 divided by the population of the second town, that is 5,000. Now we are getting after calculating all this we are getting 4 km. Now therefore the distance of the breaking point from city B towards city A is 4 km. Now this is the point where we have to understand something because since we have uh, taken the larger town or uh, population with the uh, town with the larger population in the numerator so the breaking point will be from city B or from the smaller town. See. The breaking point from city B towards city A is 4 km. Now if I convert this formula by writing it as PB by PA, then my breaking point will certainly come from city A. So this is a vice versa relation. So you have to always keep it in mind. Mostly we calculate by this only because we actually calculating the major city or big city's influence. That is why we, are, we take the population of the the city with a higher population divided by city of the lower population that is PA by PB. So that is why the distance of breaking point from city B towards city A is 4 km. So this is as simple as it can be. So this is a short video of breaking point analysis. Hope you have understood this. If you have any doubt and query, you can ask me. Thank you. <coughs>